Hi everyone, my name is Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a ginormous haul for you guys. It has been quite a while since I have filmed a haul. I felt like I didn't have a lot of stuff come in, but then it started piling up this high and I was like, okay, uh, about time to film something. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I have a ton of kits as usual because kits are mostly what I am buying these days. And um, I have one like custom printable character stickers and one happy mail from my friend so that is about it so we're going to start with the happy mail from my best friend sage which she's been like hoarding for years because she can never freaking get to the post office which is hilarious but um let's see i did desash a lot of it because i wouldn't be using a lot of it but i did keep some of this stuff so i can show you guys that's where my freaking popeye scripts are i was like about to use one the other day and I like couldn't find it and then I remembered well, I didn't remember I just realized just now that this is where it was is in my happy mail pile so that kind of explains why I didn't have it in my collection yet okay so it's kind of a random assortment of stuff um, let's see I did ask her to buy some of these sheets from paper shire which these are no longer in her shop these um, pop culture ones which is how you know that She's been hoarding this for years to wait to give to me. So you have a couple of Stranger Things sheets, which I still haven't caught up on the latest season of Stranger Things. I need to. I will at some point. Lord of the Rings. Um, same thing for that new series. Haven't watched that either. I am very much behind. I kind of want to rewatch The Hobbit, though. Like, those movies I really like. Um, I just have some other sheets. I probably asked her to buy the Onion Rings sheet because I prefer Onion Rings over fries. And we have a grocery flat lay, which I don't even use flat lays anymore, which is so sad. I need to try to reincorporate these into my planning style, which I have been like definitely kind of reformatting how I plan. Um, so there have been a lot of changes lately. Hopefully I can find a way to bring those back in because I'm trying to use smaller stuff and these are like the opposite of smaller stuff, but I need to like make a room for things like that. Um, and then we have a freebie, which is for 15 pounds and over which i don't remember this existing but it is super cute it's like very valentine's day themed what is that one why is vanilla in the in the heart in the coffee cup that is kind of hilarious i don't know it's cute and then we have wax melts which i have been using i kind of stopped using them the last week because i've just kind of forgotten they exist which is a problem because i have a ton um but I have been using them more in general lately in the past month and then we have rainy days which thankfully it did start to rain here a little bit so i will be able to use more of those freaking love paper shire um she's one of the i think like two or three shops that i'm going to be ordering from on black friday so it's going to be real scary how much i order because i have waited like probably almost a year to place an order or like a big order so that's going to be another upcoming haul for you guys. Um, and then next I do have quite the assortment of flag overlays, which I do love to use because I still use page flags in the traditional way that we all used to in like the top corners of the spread. And I do like to use flag overlays. It's like important to me to have them. Um, obviously I do have my own, so I don't buy them from other people, but it's like one of those things where like, I'm not going to get rid of them if they come my way because um especially if it's like good quality like scroll prints co which is manufactured so i know it's good quality it looks like these are mixed metal gold and silver um same with those and then these are gold and these are gold and i have primarily scroll prints co sized page flags so i know these will work with that i don't know how much you want to get over the um with the gold and silver ones but we'll see and then Clever Gal Crafts, I believe is good quality. I haven't ordered in like a million years because obviously I don't buy foil anymore. Um, mostly because I find that a lot of other shops um, don't necessarily have the same like rigorous quality control standards as I do, shall we say. Um, but it looks like Clever Gal Crafts, who I think still does it in-house. Not still, but like I think she does it in-house. Um... Yeah, these are these are definitely top notch. So we'll be keeping those, and these are in hollow. I don't know exactly what size flags those are gonna work with, but honestly, I don't care. Every shop has like 
every shop that still does have flags has a different size of flags. So I'm kind of used to just like cutting down overlays or just like making up my own as I did in one of my latest plan with me's. So I'm used to that. Um, and then another set of flood items that I did keep is sticker guru. Um, I think there were maybe one or two that I de-stashed, but I did keep these um, because the, these do have the same good quality standards that I come to expect. Um, so we have these floral things that would look good in the corners of full boxes, I feel like. Um, these are kind of Easter themed. All of these are. So we have that in gold. I have my light settings different because the majority of this haul is going to be not foiled. So I don't have the lighting set for foil. So it's going to be hard to see, but just take my word for it. This is like a classic gold. You can kind of see a little bit there. And then this is rose gold, which is, I think, a little bit pinky. Pinky rose gold. So we have those two. And then we have um, the eggs, these like very nicely decorated eggs in um, gold and rose gold as well. Yeah, these are like beautiful. Got a little extra foiling on that sheet. Okay, yeah, so these were overcut. So they are not peeling up. So these might be oops quality, I don't know. Because again, these were already stashed. I can still probably make some of them work. But they are pretty designs. All right, and then also these tiny little um, hollow bows from SPC, which I love tiny bows because I love to put them over character stickers that like have buns but don't have bows in their hair, which are a lot of them. A lot of shops do character stickers with that hairstyle, so I'm all about it. And you'll see that a lot in my plan with me's. Okay, so as I hinted out earlier, I do have some Popeye scripts in here. These are from Sugar Box Stickers. And Popeyes is one of my favorite places, one of my favorite fast food restaurants. I love their chicken sandwiches, so I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of those. Um, and then we have some WandaVision scripts from Bun Bun Paper Co. These are definitely oops quality due to the ghosting, but they're still definitely very usable. And there definitely aren't that many episodes of WandaVision, um, but I will use these for the times that I did watch it. Um, and then we have more from Sugar Box stickers. These are the fried chicken doodles. Obviously, these will go very well with the Popeye scripts. Um, and then we have some from Olive & Co., who is now all of Digitals, I think. She's, like, gone fully digital due to materials constraints where she lives. It's really hard to import materials to have a physical sticker shop. So she is digital. Um, but this was back when she... I think lived in the Netherlands and had physical stickers. So these are cleaning stickers. And then Sweet Ava's Paper, a classic favorite. I do have these two sheets already um, because I own like most of our shop, I feel like. Um, but these will be backups. So we have um, like sitting in an airplane. I love that little like scene of like sitting in the airplane and looking out the window and seeing the wing like... It's just really cute, and this is also adorable. Um, the two cats are like the ice cream and the ice cream cone. I love using this for marking when um, I go get ice cream with somebody else. So that is my Disa or not Disa. That is my um, basically belated birthday gift from my bestie Sage at Study with Sage. Thank you so much for that. And then we have next. Um, some Teddy Plans Co. Custom Brint Bowls. She had a sale that I had to take advantage of because I do love her, like, custom families. And, obviously, um, I can print my own stickers. So, that's what I did here. So, if you see any mistakes, those are totally mine. Um, but these designs are, like, so cute. I had to get pretty much everyone that I didn't already have because I had ordered a bunch before. Um, and I think I got mostly... Um, ones of just me and my boyfriend because um, his daughter was not really like in the picture yet in our lives regularly, but she is now obviously. So I had to get a bunch of customs of the three of us. So for like basically every holiday that was presented. Um, and also I think I got one just like a regular one, which is this one. So this is just the three of us like regular. Um, last time I did choose to get like 
the one for myself with like the bun hairstyle that the kid has but I think this time I just kind of was like I don't care um so the girl has long hair in, the, in these but like I don't care because the hair like she didn't have an option for like black hair anyway or I think this like was the black hair option and it just looks like dark brown I don't know it didn't look totally accurate anyway so um like I wasn't really too bugged about it man I overcut these so, oopsie to that. I think there should be, like, one angle where they peel up properly. But it is not any of the ones I am trying. So, I might have to reprint these for myself. Yeah, these definitely are overcut. So, that is my bad. There's one. There's one good one on the sheet. Um, yeah, like, it's hard. It's hard having a sticker shop. So, I do not blame other shops that, like, don't catch this stuff before they send it out because... A lot of the time it's hard to tell unless you try to peel up every single sticker. So, anyway, these are the regular ones. And then we have, let's see, well, it looks like we have one Halloween one here. So, I just got, like, the classic design of everybody in their Halloween costumes. So, I'm apparently a witch. Um, my boyfriend is a mummy. And then his daughter is a little Tinkerbell. Super cute. So, this can be used for, like, trick-or-treating. There we go. That one's good. Um, which we did go trick-or-treating this year. So, adorable and then we have a few summer ones I did get quite a few of these because there were like two different outfit designs and there um there was a period of time in the summer where um she and I were going to the pool a lot just on our own so I wanted to have this of just the two of us to mark that and um so we have that and then for the three of us so there were like two outfit designs one like with the swimsuit and then one with the little dress so I had to get both so here's the one with the little dress this could be like pool day beach day um and then here's the one with the swimsuit adorable and then I think this one was for valentine's day which I decided to get kind of as just like a fancy going out to dinner type situation um really just for any time because like there isn't too much that you do as a family on Valentine's Day, I feel like. Like, the only thing I can think of would be, like, going out to dinner, so I don't know. Um, this design originally, like, had hearts around it, but when I got it last time from her, I found it just, like, a little bit too big and bulky with all the hearts, so I just um, had her move them for this one, which I'm glad she was able to do for me. So cute little fancy dressed up family and then I did get one of the classic Christmas ones of just the three of us so I think she also had like a pastel Christmas one but I like the traditional colors so there's that and I love these so much super cute all right so now we're gonna get into the huge stack of kits by the way I may have to film this haul in parts because it's just a lot and I find it really hard to like talk for over an hour I get like really exhausted um so my next order is from planet fancy this is my first time ordering from her which i still don't know what her actual name is i'm kind of like too scared to ask at this point but i know that she is a she and she has a shop that has kits and foil and like i've said before i don't really buy foil from other shops but this foil i could not resist i had to buy it um this Harry Potter like 15 millimeter I just loved both of these so much so we have this one which is the Hogwarts Express basically I love trains I'm super obsessed with trains so I needed this in my life I got this in gold I think I got both of these in gold it looks like um and then we have just the castle the forbidden forest Whomping willow of course I think that might be the burrow yeah, I love this so much as well. And then I forget if I ordered this or not. I have no clue, but I loved this as well. I think this is in rose gold. I don't know, this little, like, wildflower scene with the butterflies. That's very cute. And then the one kit I got was the Harry Potter kit um, called Wizarding World because I think I maybe saw the art somewhere. Who does this look like i think it's like milk and berries art on instagram i think but i probably saw the art and didn't see anybody else using it and obviously i'm a big harry potter fan so i needed it from somebody so um i decided to get it from the shop and super cute we have crookshanks hadwig we 
you have the flying key and the snitch and the little spew badge. Um, the time turner, the Hedwig mug, sorting hat, the howler, broom, happy birthday, Harry cake, Marauder's map, basically like a ton of movie references just like crammed in here, which is awesome. We have the Polyjuice potion and the, I think that's the Felix Felicis as well. There's a ton going on here, which is amazing. And this is my first time seeing this format. So I'm glad that she has the solid and patterned pages that we are all used to. Looks like um, we have quite a lot of half boxes. I don't see any third boxes on this page though. So that would be something that I would like because I do use way more third boxes than half boxes. Um, and then we have our glitter headers and little things, which I love the blank little things, although that row is not really writable. Um, but I do love that they're blank with no icons and they're also, they look slightly taller than like a standard size little thing, which is great. Um, let's see what else we got. This cute little bow checklists, which I don't use checklists, but those are adorable. Um, I do use the sidebar tracker. We got some fancy labels, which are nice. And we got some appointment labels on this page, which are all facing to the right, which is super funny because usually it's the opposite. Oh, I love the square boxes. Got some little functional pieces there as well. Even more square boxes. Oh, that is a super interesting design for the habit trackers, which I kind of love that. And that is a really cute movie marquee as well. Yes, we get page flags. Thank you. Tiny deco, which is life. I love the tiniest of decos. It's a nice weekend banner as well. Um, we get triplicated bottom washi, which, wow, I don't think I've ever seen a single other shop other than Glam Planner do triplicated bottom washi, which is awesome um, because I do sell triplicated bottom washi overlays in my shop. Um, I don't think I've put any in basics yet, which is sad, and I should do that. Um, I'm going to assume that these measurements are 15, 10, and 7 millimeters. I actually have a tiny little ruler right here, so let me try to confirm that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's millimeters on this side. 5, 10, 15, and 10, and yeah, I think that's 7. Okay, sweet. So yeah, if you buy the triplicated Badamashi overlays from my shop, which I do have some for Harry Potter, um, they will work with this, which is great because I like getting more use out of <laughs> things that I create. Um, and then we have our fake covers and our extra full box, which is just the castle, which love that. Um, of course, I needed it as the most enormous version possible, so I did get the big box. Um, I, th I think this was an optional add-on. I don't think it came with it, but yeah, I needed this for sure. So we have that. I feel like this is old art. Looking at that, I feel like this is old, but I'm not sure. Anyways... So that is my order from Planet Fancy. I think there was, yes, we got some extras here. A deluxe freebie pack, which is super sweet for her to throw in. And let's see what goodies we got in here. So these look like just extra pieces from various other collections in her shop. Um, we have two from the Apple Pie collection that Coffee Doodles coded while ago. Um, this one, which looks like the inside of a coffee shop, maybe by the same artist, I think. I think it was also by Elaine. Same with this one, which is Fall Festival. Okay, so this is interesting. These tall boxes also look like they are Glam Planner size, which again, I'm pretty sure that Glam Planner is the only other shop that I know of that uses this size of tall box, so I'm glad that there are other shops that do that so that, again, my overlays are more versatile. Ah, uh, yes, I love this um, extra page of little things. I don't think I'll use the washi strips for anything, but I love just extra blank little things that are light colored, so they're very writable. Um, and then even more here with some glitter headers too, which I will be saving as well. Love that. So that is super fun and generous for her to throw that into my order. 
And next we're going to go ahead and get into Swirl Prints Co., which these are both mystery kits, so spoiler alert. Um, I'm sure you'll have already seen them by now, but this is both the November and the December mystery. So I will be showing the November one on screen in three, two, one. Here we go. So this is a very kind of spring cleaning kit, which I think is hilarious given that November is not really the time I would be thinking of cleaning during. So it feels kind of random and out of place. And also, it looks identical to, um, I was talking to Sage, and I think she said it was the February mystery of one of these previous years that was also, like, the same color scheme and also about cleaning. Um, and honestly, yeah, it does look pretty much the same, just in, like, a different art style, because it's a different artist, obviously. Um, but I did keep that one, and I will keep this one, just because I like the color scheme not because I like cleaning, because I hate cleaning with a passion, but I feel like this might make a good anytime kit anyway. Um, and the art is definitely beautiful. And I do like the colors. I like the pinks and purples and the blues. It just makes a great combo. So we have a couple double box scenes here. We have the bed and the bathroom. Um, a home edit workbook. Oh my gosh, a workbook involving like cleaning and organizing I'm assuming is what that is oh my goodness that would just destroy me that would be like worse than homework um cleaning caddy more cleaning supplies in a donate pile which is hilarious because my boyfriend's daughter like desashes and donates stuff like way more than I do <laughs> um we have a lot of deco more functional stuff we have a couple extra full boxes right here with a very fancy looking vacuum and then a girl cleaning, glitter headers, movie marquees, um, habit trackers. And then we have this page back when these were still squared off, which honestly I think I like better than when they were rounded because I do not use rounded labels anymore. I do not like them nearly as much. Square boxes I love though. Love this page with all of the little things. And then we have our solid page which does have plenty of sizes of boxes. And I think these are third, and I think these are like quarter boxes. So love that. We have more of those. And I love, I love this extra full box with the flowers. That's gorgeous. Then we have our date covers and split bottom washi, which is perfect for overlays. And then these are the mystery pages, which we have all of the icons in the color scheme of the kit. We have our fifth color sampler. And then our two um, checklists, which I think have been replaced with the fifth color sampler, um, like the extra bits, like I think glitter headers in future mystery kit, which we will see if I'm right remembering about that. And then we have extra um, fall boxes, like skin tone alternates, um, a little spring cleaning <laughs> checklist. Again, something I will never have. Um, and then tall box girls. So that's nice. I do love a good tall box. And then for the foil with this kit, she chose to do hollow. So this is just a classic confetti in hollow. And I think hollow would be a good choice for this. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll probably go with that. I won't keep it with it as usual because actually I will. I usually do. Unless, like, I know for sure that I'm not going to use it because, like, I have, most of the time, because I have, like, something from my own shop that I want to use with it instead. But in this case, like, pff, I don't have a cleaning foil collection and I'm probably not ever going to, given my hatred of cleaning. So we'll just keep that with that. And then, so I'm going to show the December mystery in three, two, one. Here it is. This one is super cute. I love the theme. Not super applicable to me personally in my life, but I definitely could use it as an anytime kit, which I have really been going through lately because, okay, so I have like a million and one pop culture and like movie kits. I have a million of them because I just love all of those like movies and franchises, but do I ever actually have time to sit down and watch them? No. So do I ever use those kits? No. 
So I've been using a ton of Anytime and Seasonal kits lately, which is kind of sad that I'm not using like themed kits really for anything at all. Um, but also I have a ton more Anytime kits than like, mm, I don't have more Anytime kits than movie kits, but they're in like my second biggest category. So I'm kind of glad to be like making a dent in that. But given that I'm not going to go on a picnic in the English countryside anytime soon, I feel like this will also be joining those anytime kits in my collection. So yeah, that's basically the theme here, which I do love picnics. I would love to do like a classic picnic like with this um, picnic basket situation, very traditional, but I don't know. I feel like I would have to do a lot of planning for that and finding a cute little location and definitely not going to be a winter thing. So I'll think about this more in the springtime. Um, I do have other picnic kits though that I could use. But this one I feel like definitely more anytime. So we have our two fashion girls in the corners. Again, I love this traditional picnic basket situation. I actually had one like this when I was a little kid. It was like the kids version. Um, and I don't think I ever actually used it on a picnic. But it was really fun to play with. Like it had like real ceramic like glasses and plates and things. Very cute. We have a book here. It definitely is a real book. Um, looks like it's Jane Eyre, which I did like that book. It wasn't my favorite classic, but I did enjoy it. Um, double box scene of like the gardens and um, a couple of food situations. I guess that's more of a drink situation, but there you go. And then we have a good mix of larger and smaller deco, functional. Love this charcuterie board for the extra full box and the bike. Very cute. Here we have the rounded boxes right there, which everybody seems to love, but again, I really don't do the rounded. I like everything to be square. Little things, solid page, pattern page. Um, looks like we have some ombre for the 15 millimeter on top. That's very cute. And then we have a clothing flat lay because every kit seems to have one. And then we have our icons, fifth color, and checklists. Gorgeous tall box of the fountain, which will be a must need to use. We have some extra skin tone alternates there, and then another food flat lay, which I love that. I like to imagine that that's um, like chocolate chip banana bread, which is the best. And I've been meaning to make it for quite some time. And then the foil that she paired with this, I think that this is just like a gold shimmer is what this format is, I forget. It's like little confetti bits that are like actual confetti and not just confetti dots. Um, I don't know if gold is going to be the vibe for this. Like maybe. I can't really think of anything else except maybe like a really light pink. Like maybe ballerina pink in my shop would like match the dress and all that. Maybe. I don't know. So I will be storing this one separate. Probably just be de-sashing this page straight up because I don't use icons or scripts that are foiled, um, but yeah, very cute. So that is the December mystery. They haven't all been like necessarily knocking it out of the park lately, but I'm still subbed, like I'll still use them and add them to my collection. Um, so next I think we're gonna actually hop into Glam Planner because I only have two Glam Planner kits. So we're gonna, gonna work our way up to the bigger orders. So what do we got? Um, I got one freebie solo and then two like actual kits so this was her latest release which she is going much slower with them I think it's still like a maternity leave kind of thing situation but she does like have a bunch lined up to release so I'm just kind of buying them as they come out now because it's not like a ton that I need at once which thankfully because there's other shops that do that <laughs> that empty my wallet just immediately so um, first, let's go over this one, which I think is called Lady Tremaine, which is obviously part of her villains line. Well, it's not obvious if you didn't know that she had a villains line of kits, but she does. She did the princesses already, and I think one or two Pixar's, and I think maybe just one. And then she is doing the Disney villains now, so she already had Ursula. I don't think she did any after that. I'm pretty sure now. So I think this is just the next one in that collection. So I'm glad that she's keeping going with that because these are still Disney kits and I love them. 
So this one is Lady Tremaine, themed obviously from Cinderella, and I like how there's like some Cinderella elements, but there's a lot of just like classy, you know, rich stepmom vibes as well that like aren't necessarily indicative of her being evil, which is nice. Um, so there's her. She looks pretty good there. And then the cat, which I think is supposed to be Lucifer. <laughs> it's a very fluffy Lucifer cat. Um, and then we have the broken glass slipper. We have this gorgeous tea cup and teapot. Um, we have the little fancy doorknob that she looks like she's locking Cinderella inside or something. Um, we have some like makeup stuff and this gorgeous double box scene with the grand piano and the photos of the stepsisters. I don't know. I really love that scene and the light coming through the windows is done very well. Um, while we're here, let's look at the extra boxes that we got. So we do have fashion girls of the two stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella. I actually like Anastasia a lot more from these sequels, the animated sequels. And then we have the big box of, um, the bedroom with this, which is up with this gorgeous bed. I love that big box so, so much. Um, and then we also have the glitter headers, which are, for some reason, still not included in this format. I think they are included in the newest format, which we'll see in a second. Uh, yeah, this is very old format, which is so interesting. She must have been holding on to this for quite a while. We have the checklist still, which I don't really use. Um, and then we have extra full boxes. We have one of, like, a little cat hideout for Lucifer. And then one with, um, looks like... Lucifer's like water bowl and food dish and little cat toys. I love all the cat elements. That's adorable. And the more functional stuff on this page. Functional page flax, which I love. I forget. I think she took them out of the new format, which I'll have to see because that would be really sad. I think she may have kept these, but took out the other ones. I don't know. We'll see in a second. Love this tiny deco. Love her movie marquees as well. Giant weekend banner. I'm not a super fan of her habit trackers though. Um, then we have headers and like washi strips and other labels. We have little things, third boxes, and then triplicated bottom washi and work labels, which I'm also going to start phasing out of using. Um, so that is, I think it's called Lady Tremaine. So I'll be happy to add that to my movie collection, which, like I said, I never dip into. <laughs> Um, and then next we have Harvest Season, which is, I think, her exclusive art for Thanksgiving for this year, which they are always, like, top tier. Glam Planner Thanksgiving kits, um, exclusive kits are always, like, the best. Um, actually, no. I don't think this was the exclusive. Maybe it was. If it wasn't, it was just Silly Studios Thanksgiving art that, like, everybody used. If it is exclusive, then it's just a Silly Studio exclusive. Either way, that's the artist. Either way, love this kit. Um, I have like a million one Thanksgiving kits. I'm gonna have to use them for the whole month of November, honestly. <sighs> so yeah, I love the realism of this. That's like a really gorgeous looking pumpkin pie. I do not like pumpkin pie. I don't eat it, but it does look cute in a kit. Super realistic turkey texture, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, I love the decor situation. I don't know why there's gift bags. I guess that's a Black Friday thing, which also this box is as well. Um, that's a really cool turkey. I, like, I refuse to believe that she like drew that because it literally looks like photorealistic. So it would be insane if she drew it, but I feel like there's probably a way to just like grab a photo and like make it look like it could have been drawn that would be much faster. <laughs> But either way, super impressive. I mean, we already know that Sabine from Silly Studio is, like, the best artist, so, and the most realistic. So we have that. Um, I did get the FAM version 6, um, or I guess they're just fashion girls. So we have the girl with the curly hair, um, with the nails and the rings, which I always wear this ring, and I did buy another pinky ring, which I keep forgetting to put on for these videos. You'll see it at some point, but it is um, like a little snake pinky ring, which is so cute. So I'm not quite doing this whole ring life situation yet, but I'm like working my way up to it. Um, and then we have a little pumpkin doormat right there with these really cute shoes. Like those look like loafers, which I love a good loafer. I have a lot of loafers. I have white loafers as well, but they aren't as fancy as that. And then we have the big box, which is the kitchen scene, which 
I always love a good kitchen scene. I was like wondering why everything looked weird and then I realized I had it sideways so now you can tell it's a kitchen <laughs> and now I feel really silly. <laughs> oh man. Okay so big box scene of the kitchen. Love um, building it interiors and exteriors. Kitchens especially so this is a big win for that level of detail as well. So we have our checklists which honestly I thought she'd gotten rid of these. I think she has but clearly this format no, this format has been updated. Maybe it's not the newest, newest format. I don't know. We'll see. I love this double box scene of the dining room. Thank God we still have these page flags. That is all I need in life. Everything else in here is super functional as well. I probably won't use those except in case of emergency. We have some more um, pattern labels right here. Um, we have kiss cut icons. Just other functional things that I'd use. Um, here we have some more little things, which I would prefer them to all be like this blank, but I don't mind the glitter because honestly, I think it's kind of fun to put a little doodle like right there in the middle so that to the left of the doodle is just glitter and to the right is just solid. I don't know. I think that's kind of fun. Um, but we have that and then, yeah, so glitter headers are now included. We still have our headers, including dinner's header, which I use every time get more blank little things which is good and then bottom washi super cute so that is the harvest season kit which um i do pretty much solely buy all silly studio art from glam planner she just does it best we all know that um and i did ask her if she was gonna use balsam because that was the um christmas art from silly studio that came out and um, I really only wanted to buy it from her, but not if she wasn't using it, obviously, and she said she was. She'll just release it later, so you will see that in an upcoming haul. And let's check out the freebie cello, which I usually do slash most, most of this, but let's see if there's any goodies in here. We got some of her character stickers. We got some tall box girls. I wish I knew what kit these came from. I might keep these anyway, just to see where I can slot them in. And then we have this sheet of bottom washi, which again, I don't really know what I'll do with. So I'll probably be de-sashing a lot of these. This one, I'm just gonna take the dinner setter out. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll take the little things out too, cause I do like to build up my collection of little things. Oh, this was from the Rainy Day Mystery Kit that came out a while ago which I do love. I might just keep it for the extra deco because this isn't a ton of deco and having double might not be a bad thing. Um, there's some good functional things on here. Same for this one, which I do still have this kit in my collection. I honestly will add this page to that kit just for the extra third boxes and labels right here because I will definitely probably need to use all of them. Checklists, which can be immediately de-stashed. Um, I didn't actually buy this kit, but it is a gorgeous kit. Um, this was one of her latest mysteries as well, I think. Um, this looks like, honestly, this looks like 10 millimeter strips. I think they're supposed to be 15. No, I think they're 10. Hmm. No, they're like 12 millimeter, which is like, why, why is that a thing? I don't know. That'll be a de-stash as well. And then April 22 mystery cleaning spree. Pretty sure I didn't buy that. But yeah, I do love her like kit specific overlays. I feel like I love the idea of them and then I use them and I'm like, that's too much. And I think a lot of people think that. I don't know. I have used, I think only one of those kits that have that type of overlay. Um, and I have like a bunch of others, but I haven't used them. So we'll see how I feel when I get there. All right, so next we're going to get into Crest Press, which has been quite a while since I ordered from Crest Press, and clearly I just awaited until she had a lot that I needed. Um, so the main reason I placed this order was for this kit, and I didn't think I was going to get anything else, but I did wait until she had some other stuff come out so I could justify the shipping and everything a little bit better. And the stuff did come out, so we're good on the stuff. Um, but yeah, 
I hate this format, how she like always puts the first page second. It's like, no, I don't want it to be surprised what the kit looks like. I want to see it when it comes in and understand which kit it is. Um, but yeah, I just needed this Salem Sisters kit from her specifically. She did it best. Who's the artist here? Is this, um, oh man, it's at the tip of my tongue. I will probably not remember it in this moment, but you can probably recognize the artist from the Fashion Girls, which I'll show you in a second. But um, basically, um, the only reason I did get this is because I did watch Hocus Pocus 2 and I did like it. I liked it better than the original because I really don't like the original Hocus Pocus, um, but the second one was pretty good. And I think, if I remember correctly, they like left it open to do a third one. Which, like, I would not mind because the modern stuff is usually better. Um, the modern Ghostbusters was also really nice. Um, so, they're doing some good stuff with these, like, reboots. I mean, they're not all good, obviously, but these two, I enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah, I did need a Hocus Pocus 2 kit, and clearly, this is that kit. Um, so, yep, had to grab this. I love the colors. I love the dark purple and the orange. It's going to be really fun. I think my purple foil would look good with this. Pretty sure that's going to be the vibe. Um, so then we have the tombstones of all of them for the double box scene. We have the book and the salt, of course, um, for the flat lay over here. We have, I think that's, what's his name? Binks or something. Black cat, the cauldron. Um... Not too sure what that is. Just like decorations over there. Candy and Crocs, which are evil. I don't know why those need to be in there. I'm not a Crocs fan, obviously. Um, and then, oh yeah, the bag from the magic shop in the movie. And then I love the little movie on the big screen. So you have that. And then while we're here, we're going to go over the extra boxes as always. So um, the Salem scene, I think, was the freebie. So it's just like a really dark scene of the town, which foil is going to really make this pop, but... I feel like it would be very easy to just cover this in foil and not be able to see any of the scene. So I think we're going to do some really, really, really subtle foil around the outside. I might actually have to make something custom for this because I'm really scared of doing too much, but it does need something to just like pop. So we'll have to think about that. Um, and then I did get these extra boxes and these tall box. I think these were both paid add-ons. I got this um, for this one of the girls, or actually, this is just an alternate skin tone, so this might have been freebies as well. I don't know, but I did need this for the three girls that are the main characters. Um, and then I did want the tall box of the three witches, because I thought this would be better than that, because I like to see their whole outfits. So, I needed that tall box. So, let's see, we have our solid page which is really funny that this is dinner plans instead of just dinners because it's not plans it's dinners that I ate like literally six months ago because I'm so behind in planning so like she has to know that most people back plan right like come on Maggie get with it <laughs> so that's funny but um I don't know I don't think anybody else back plans their dinners in their sidebar <laughs> like I do so maybe she has these in here just for the like pre-planners out there I don't know Anyway, we have solid page, pattern page. These are good formats. Um, plenty of fancy labels, which I love. Got the quarter box, third box, half box situation that is the same as Girl Friends Cow. Could do without these roundel labels, but again, that's just me being a hater of the roundel labels. I also, I'm not a fan of her little things style. It's just like weird that she like pre proportions this tiny space out for us to write. Like, I feel like this extra strip at the end is just kind of excessive and kind of weird. But it is what it is. I like the glitter headers though. And I do like at least how she makes the black ones writable. Like not a lot of shops do that. So I appreciate that. Um, then we have some more functional things. What is this inverted movie marquee? Have I not gotten a Crest Press kit with this format to look at this inverted movie marquee? Because that is disturbing and I do not like that. <laughs> oh man, it's a good size but it's inverted and that is not how a movie marquee should be. So I think I'm not going to use that. <laughs> that disturbs me. <laughs> anyway, there's a reason I don't buy too much from Crest Press. The format is not 100% my format. Um, 
And then we have an extra full box over here in a world of basic witches via Sanderson. I mean, I guess. I don't I don't think that should be goals. <laughs> I think there's a lot of other types of witches you could be that would be better than a Sanderson. <laughs> uh, more little things, which is good, at least that there's a lot. So I'll take it. I like these tables down here. I wish these were squared. Oh, uh, we have our extra full box with um what was his name? Billy or something? Who was the zombie? That was hilarious. Um, this could also be split. She has the mark to split it, which is nice. I don't know what these marks are for. I feel like those are a bit unnecessary. I mean, I guess it's... No, there's no reason for those extra marks. But, um, yeah, at least there's at least there's that, even if they're not already split. And then I do like how these date covers are like a little bit shorter. They're not as tall as your standard date covers, which is nice. Um, and then I do kind of like the inclusion of the date dots because typically a lot of people, including myself, will use foil ones where we can. But lately I've kind of been like using a, mi a mi mismatch. What is the word I'm trying to say? Like a mix and match of foil um, from various places. And sometimes I don't always have or want to print out like foil date dots for myself. So... Like in a previous plan with me, I just like had to pull from my extras collection. Um, so I'm kind of glad that that is an option. Then we have square boxes, which I love. Page flags, which I think that might be my only page flag option. I don't think there are smaller ones in here, which is which is okay. Because I'll still use these. Um, plenty of deco, which is great. And then a fun weekend banner as well. So that is the newest Crest Press format, as you can see. There's some good stuff about it, some weird stuff for sure, but either way, I'm so excited to use that. And then we got four more kits to go through. So this is like winter, and then we have three Christmas ones. Interesting choice. Actually, no, I know, I know why I got that. Um, so this one, we're just going to start with the winter one, which is the October Mystery. Which I don't always love for mysteries as much as everybody else does, but occasionally I do. This was one of them. So this one is Snowbound. I like how she names her mysteries too. Um, so yeah, I just I needed this honestly for this double box scene, but also for the huskies because I love how huskies look. Um, and then this like gingerbread house is so cute too. But this double box scene, like honestly, is life. That is so gorgeous. What is that like a ski resort or something? I don't know. I like to think it's like my own personal little mansion in the mountains which would be fun. And we got our little chest set going on here. Oh, cute little cozy couple in front of the fire. I love that. We have our heated blanket, it looks like. And then, yeah, I just, I just love this gingerbread house and, like, hot cocoa situation. We have our clothing flat lay right here. Super cute. Um, wait, is this premium matte? I think she did not have any glossy left, because usually I'll get glossy, but... I don't mind a premium matte every now and then. I'll survive. So, same format as the rest, I think. We have our solid, our patterns, glitter headers, freaky inverted movie marquee, and then extra full box, which is like a slow cooker, a meal prep situation. That food is like super realistic. Love it though. Um, we have our labels. Those are not super writable, which, come on guys, you gotta realize we are writing on this stuff. We gotta be able to see what we're writing. Um, and then this is like, I think some kind of fabric, but it just looks like dog's hair on a dog, just like a massive amount of it, which is interesting. I know it's like one of those furry blankets, but, um, and then we have like a snowshoe type situation and then square boxes and deco. So that is snowbound. Um, I could do one of two things with this. I could save it for a like winter vacation in the mountains, which I'm not going to go skiing. So I don't know. But it's not like a skiing kit necessarily, which I think I do have one of those, but I could use it for that or I could just use it as like a winter kit in general, even though it doesn't snow here. So we'll see what I plan to do with that. And then these rest are all Christmas. So let's start with Noelle, which is from that same artist as the Salem Sisters, which I really wish I remembered. I know it starts with an S. The artist's name starts with an S. I don't remember. I keep wanting to say Sadie, but it might not have anything to do with Sadie. I don't know. Um, 
All right, so what do we got here? We got the last page on the top, which is not where it goes. Um, so yeah, I just really liked the realism of this one as well. It's very similar to the last kit in terms of like the snowy mountain aesthetic going on. We have like a little tree farm here, very modern type house. Um, this is basically kind of like a Christmas prep sort of kit. So we have the presents right there. We have like a little Christmas tree cloche, which that is super cute. Um, gift wrapping flatly right here, more presents, and then double box scene of the kitchen and living room. Love this. While we're here, we'll go over the extra boxes. I think I did purchase all of these separately. No, I think this was maybe the freebie of this, um, the ornaments on the table. And then I did get this fashion girl. And then I got this tall box girl because I needed to see her whole outfit. So we have that, and then solid page, patterns, glitter headers, um, extra full box here, which is like a little cookie box, which I love those boxes with like all the Christmas cookies. I just need to eat all of them all at once. And if I go to a party and there is one of those, I will put one of each on my plate. I am shameless. Um, and then we have our little things. We have our extra full box here with the like tablescape situation and that little Christmas log cake, which I don't think I've ever actually eaten. It looks kind of fun though. And then we have our very interesting like dark plaid, like very brownish plaid bottom washi, which honestly I love and I think it looks really good with the kit. And then skirt boxes and deco. So this will be really fun. Um, again, I think this will just be like an anytime Christmas kit. And then we have even more Christmas kits, um, both by different artists. So we'll do this one next, which is Holly Holiday. Wow, Holly Holiday. And the next one is Holly Jolly. There's a lot of Holly going on. Why is it not like Jolly Holiday? Like the Mary Poppins song. Anyway, that's what's stuck in my head now, obviously. But, um,. So this is art by the new artist that everybody's using. I don't think she's new. I think she just like had a resurgence or like a comeback or whatever. Um, what is her name? I think it's Milk and Berries art again. I think, please forgive me if I'm getting any of these wrong, but off the top of my head, I think that's what this is. So I needed this kit for the movie references pretty much solely just that. Um, it's not my favorite like Christmas color scheme. I like a traditional color scheme. This is like way too pastel and bright and pink for me, but I will survive because I needed all the movie references that are in here. Um, wait, are these like Hallmark? I think these are just all like Hallmark Christmas movies. Okay. Well, that's a little different because I don't really watch those, but either way, Christmas is a time for movies for me. So I will, I will take it anyway. We have our double box scene of the, the entire living room, which I love the detail on that. It's like, there's like a lot of little detail without it being overwhelming to the eyes. So I like that. Are these macarons? Cause that's adorable as well. We have our um, like gift wrapping flat lay. We have two like house interior scenes. I think that's a double box scene actually. Yeah. So we have like a little window seat right there, Christmas tree, and then the staircase gorgeously decorated. I would love to live in a house that has a staircase just so I can do that to the banister. Um, we've got our Starbucks cups and then we have all the Hallmark movies right there. Um, extra boxes. We have this little like table decor scene and then I did get this fashion girl watching a movie on her laptop. And we have our solid page, patterned, glitter headers, we have our extra box here, which has some, I think those are drinks. Very cute. And then little things, and then bottom washi and clothing flat lay. And then square box and deco. It's a lot of deco. I love that. Um, I guess this is where my freebies were. So here they are. We have like a little a sushi. A sushi full box overlay set. That's hilarious. Do I have any sushi specific kits? I don't think they exist exactly. Um, and then this one, which is leaves. I think that's 
I think this was like a preview of her like mistletoe foil set that came out recently, I think if I remember correctly. So that's cute. That is in silver. This one is in gold. We have a sushi one in silver and then the travel one in silver as well, which I still need to do a travel collection. It's on my list. So we have Holly Holiday and then Holly Jolly is next, which this is Coffee Doodles Co. Art, which I don't usually get from Crest Press. I usually get it from SPC, but I think they did a thing where like Andrea saw that Maggie was doing this color scheme, so she did the other color scheme, so I was forced to get this one because I do like the traditional color scheme. Usually Elaine does too, and the other one's like a more pastel. So I had to go with this one, so this is why we're here. And yeah, I do love pretty much every single one of Elaine's sets, so I have to pick up all of them. And yeah, so this is just like a classic Christmas kind of situation. We have a double box scene of the living room with the Christmas tree and fireplace. We have our stocking over here, presents, pancakes, which is an interesting Christmas choice, but I'll take it. Um, we have more Christmas food. It looks like Christmas breakfast over there. And then the milk and cookies, which I love, stack of presents, hot cocoa in front of the tree. Very cute. We'll do our extra boxes while we're here, which I got like all of the fam options. Um, so these are just the extra full boxes, which um, more food. Super fun. Is that like a terrain of like hot cocoa? Perhaps, perhaps. And then um, the kitchen. And then I got the fashion tall box of this girl. I got the little baby one because, I don't know, you never know when you're going to use these kits and the baby might be in our future. Um, same thing for this. Well, I had to get the fashion guy, of course, and then the girl is pregnant. So, you know, you never know. Um, so then we'll go over the rest of it. We have our solid page, pattern page glitter headers. We have our extra box here, which is like, I think coffee and sugar. Little things. Um, what is that? Pajamas flat lay with the cute little reindeer slippers. And then another plaid bottom washi, scar boxes, tons of deco. And that is holly jolly. So many boxes. I don't know how I'm going to choose for this particular spread. Well, I don't ever choose. I always use all of them. So that won't be a concern. So that is everything from Crest Press. And I guess I'm just going to go ahead and power through the rest of it while we're here. And while I still have energy somehow. Um, actually, no, I am going to stop because I'm worried about my phone running out of battery because I don't keep it plugged in charging while I film because it's either that or my microphone plugged in. I have to choose. So we're going to stop. We're going to let it recharge some. And then I'm going to come back and show you everything from Apple Blossom Prints. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish out this haul with my chunky stack from Apple Blossom Prints. She is one of the top two shops that I buy from, either SPC or Apple Blossom Prints. So we have um, the freebie sheet right here, which is these multicolored robes. She does doodles as well in her shop. Um, and then here we have all of these kits. I did not put these in any particular order. However... I think I can just rearrange some stuff now. We have quite a mix of like old and new stuff in here it looks like um, because I did wait quite a while before placing an order. So there's stuff all over the place here. Alright so we're going to start with kind of the anytime stuff first and then we'll go into um, the more seasonal themed stuff. So. These are all um, glossy kits in the biggest format, and some of them have certain extras, and some of them don't, so we will we will see for each kit. So first, um, I have Art Gallery here, which was an art set by Kittenish Jess quite a while ago at this point, um, and I really just love most of her art sets, so I'll try to pick them up from somebody, even though... I don't really have cause to use this to mark going to an art gallery. Um, it's not really like my favorite thing to do and I don't even think there are any nearby where I live. So not, not really an activity that I will be using this kit to mark, but I think it'll make a nice anytime kit anyway. I love like the actual realistic paintings in there. I believe those are like public domain, which is why she was able to incorporate those. So 
that's really cool. Um, this like kind of empty or double box scene would be perfect for some more detailed foil overlays. I feel like we got our fashion girls here. We got our stack of art books. Um, that looks like a little food flat lay from maybe the art gallery cafe. Um, we have watercolor set and then a bust and some flowers. So we have that and then while we're here we'll go over the extra boxes as usual we have this set which may be the freebie i'm not sure we have just the flowers on their own but like a blue version and then we have alternate skin tone hair colors for that fashion girl and we have the alternate skin tone for that box as well and then i did pick up these fashion boxes for the tall box of that girl um and then that one looking at the painting and then this one for the cafe interior so there will be plenty of boxes to choose from for this spread. Um, I am going to go through the format a little bit more in depth and then just briefly flip through it th uh, for the rest of the kits as usual. So we have our glitter headers, washi strips, and headers, which there's the meals header that I always use. We have our extra full box here with the clothing flat lay and then some more functionals, um, rounded boxes, movie marquees. We got plenty of flags on this sheet along with Tiny Deco and movie, not movie marquees, um, habit trackers, we can banner everything else. We got our solid color page and then our pattern page. Plenty of extra boxes and labels here along with this little box with the doggy and then another tall box option, which honestly I love that tall box and this one. So maybe I will do a little tall box extender situation. And then we have another, um, full box of the outside of the art museum and then split bottom washi and date covers i really love her format i've been using it quite a lot lately because like i said she's one of my top two favorite kit shops so i have a ton of her kits and cannot get enough so um that is art gallery and then next um this is another older one these next two are like going to be super old but this one is the bowling alley one which is called perfect game this is elaine from coffee doodles co art i'm pretty sure is it i could be wrong mm, i actually don't think it is i think it's i don't know it's from somebody and i was not gonna get this even though like I do like the idea of bowling, I've gone maybe like once or twice in my life and I, I do want to go again though. So I think that's kind of why I bought this kit is because I thought it would be really fun to have this for when I did go bowling and the bright colors are really fun. So we have our double box scene of the bowling alley and then um, our two fashion girls up here, the split hair with the split pants is a really cool combo right there. We have our flat lay of like all the things you would bring to the bowling alley we have our food flat lay here a bunch of snacks and then of course the bowling ball and bag and then while we're here of course let's go over the other boxes so i think i purchased both of these there was like a whole extra set of full boxes you could purchase with another fashion girl and the photo booth and the claw machine and then i did pick up like the fashion girl option of this girl as the tall box um and then the hands with the bowling ball and I think that is just like a different color version of that which is interesting so plenty of options for those and then let's just briefly go through the rest we have our bowling ball and pins for that box solid pattern we have another tall box of the sign for the outside and another fashion girl which is alternate hair color for that girl and then we have a full box of the sign so in case you didn't want to use the tall box you could just use it as a full box instead i like that she kind of does that with her formats gives you lots of options I like that checkerboard actually this would be like the perfect usage for my checkerboard underlays that I do have in my basics collection under underlays. So that is a perfect game. And the next is this one, which is birthday butterflies, 
which was an art set that not a lot of people use but it's so gorgeous and I'm so glad that Amanda used it I think because I asked her to and also my bestie Nessa asked her to because Nessa loves butterflies as well and this was like perfect for her so I would love to use this to mark Nessa's birthday one of these years um it is super gorgeous I love the color scheme so much and I feel like lavender would be like from my shop would be really perfect with this um so yeah it's like a butterfly themed birthday situation so we have our double box scene here with like the table and then the fashion girl in the double box scene which is not super common so that's kind of fun we have our clothing flat lay um present wrapping flat lay um just like more decor a gorgeous cake and then like an invitation flat lay love that and then i think this might have been a freebie potentially which is just the um alternate fashion girls for that box and then oh i love how muted everything else with the rest of this kit is i think that was like a really good decision so that the full boxes can like really shine however it is going to be kind of tricky to find icons and doodles that have like muted colors that aren't going to clash with this but i bet i can do it i have a lot of neutral ones like i try to pick up a lot of white and like light pink ones where I can. So I think I should be able to find some stuff. So we have the glitter headers, washi, we have some more functional stuff here, and more decor on the table with the balloons. We have some deco, solid color, and patterned, which for this format, she does have a lot of third boxes and fancy labels, and then four half boxes. Um, and like I said, I really love the amount of boxes and labels that you get here especially with this page um, and then we get the tall box and then another cake and then this box which will be perfect for a quote overlay like maybe happy birthday whoever's birthday it is which i do have those custom overlays in my shop as well um and then our split bottom machine date covers so as birthday butterflies again i'm so glad that she used this art so thank you so much amanda and then next we have first day, which I decided to get to add to my kind of um, children's school kits, which I have been trying to stock up on now because I do have an elementary school kit in the house. Um, so I will be needing to mark this for at least this year and next year. And then I think I have like maybe two or three elementary school kits right now. If I have any more then I'll just wait until I have a kid myself um, and then use that at that point. But right now, I'll have to pick which two I want to use for the beginning of this year and then next, next year, which is sixth grade. <coughs> Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I just like cannot talk today. I don't know what is going on. I clearly have been talking a lot. Anyway, tons of boxes with this cat as well. Oh, I think it's Sadie Piper Designs. I think that's who this artist is. It just like now came to me. I think I was on the right track with Sadie, so glad I remembered it. But yeah, this is like such a busy kit and art set. It's like crazy how much detail is in here. So I love this really cute classroom scene right here. Um, and then we have a little back to school sign. We have a girl who's presumably like the teacher. We have um, a sign here with some really good advice, flat lay, target bags, of course, and then um, like accessories and stuff. So for the extra boxes, I think I did buy both of these. So we have a double box scene here of the outside of the school. Yep, Sadie Piper. Yep, I was right. We have scantrons, which are really funny. What are these supposed to be? Are these like actual pencils? I don't think so. Are they supposed to be like candy or what? I'm confused. I don't think those are, I don't think there are pencils that exist that look like that. I don't know, anyway, we have like a shirt flat right here, 
and then um, I did get this extra box that was like I think a fashion box. Um, so we have like handwriting practice, some treats, and then another sign, and then another version of the girl holding the back to school sign. So there's gonna be plenty with this. So we have our glitter headers. Um, we have an, another alternate skin tone for the handwriting. And then deco solid color patterned. Oh, I love this tall box with like the um, tall set of drawers, which I do have those drawers in my house. So they're not multicolored. I have the black set, but that's kind of fun. And then we have a boy with the back to school sign. So whether you have a, a girl or boy going back to school, you get an option for that. And then another sign. And then the bottom lashy. So this will be really fun to use one of these years. Okay, and then we have one more just like, actually, I don't think that's any time. I think this one, oh, I'm just going to bring it out now. This one is called City Cafes. And I was thinking it looked kind of fall, which it might be a little bit fall, but it's not really that fall. So I'm just going to count this as any time. And I just realized that the Apple Blossom prints her like logo font looks very similar to like the Disney font, which is really fun. So, um, this is another Elaine from Coffee Doodles Co. art set, which all of hers kind of look similar at this point, but they're all really good. So I will buy them all anyway from some shop or other. Um, so yeah, this is basically like city cafe life as the name suggests. We have our double box scene here of the outside of the buildings along the city streets. Our fashion girl. <laughs> I love this newspaper that says stickers and plans. I got cinnamon rolls. Um, a book. I can't quite make out what that cover says. Um, we have just like an outside of the cafe scene. We have a flat lay of all the delicious drinks, which they all look really good right now. And then, of course, a stack of books. We got Pride and Prejudice, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Scarlet Letter, The Time Traveler's Wife, and Wuthering Heights. Um, while we're here, we'll go over the Fashion Girls. I just needed this because I want to use one of them. And then the extra boxes. We got our extra double box scene. Um, this really cozy like a reading nook in the corner. And then an alternate skin tone for that box. Got our glitter headers. Um, clothing flatly for that box. And square boxes and everything. Deco. Solid color. Patterns. And then extra tall box, which is kind of the same as that, depending on if you want to use that as a tall box. And then more drinks and books. Um, and then another fashion girl with just her braid in front of like the little menu, which I always love looking at menus because I always like to see what shops come up with. Looks like there's cheesecake and cake pops on that menu. And I can't really see much else because her head is conveniently covering that, which I'm sure was a design choice. Um, I didn't even look at the bottom while she love that plaid and the leopard that's a pretty cool combo so there is city cafes which i didn't get for any particular reason other than that it's elaine art and i love it and i'll just use it anytime so next we have fall um we have one christmas we have mostly fall and then a couple like halloweeny ones so we'll do those now so first we have fangs which is the vampire art and I had a hard time finding somebody who's using the dark red version as opposed to the dark purple version. Everybody seemed to be in love with the purple, which it was cool, but I like the dark red more. I, if I had to choose, dark red is my vibe, so I had to get this for that. It's just more Elaine art that I just needed for no particular reason other than that. Um, I guess I guess I like vampires. Um, I don't have too much experience with them outside of Twilight and Hotel Transylvania. Other than that, not really sure about the whole vampire vibe, but I don't know. It can be fun. Um, oh, yeah, and also the Cirque du Freak book series. I think vampires are, like, the main characters in that as well, which that is a really good children's book series. Very spooky for children. I loved it. Um, anyways, yeah, I only have, like, tangential, tangential experience with vampires, but here we are. I just loved this art. I love that particular full box scene right there with the girl and her hair and the moon and the bats and the like the the spooky foggy graveyard that's like a really nicely framed scene right there 
And then we have a letter, which I don't really know why that's there. I think it's just a vibes kind of thing. And then we have a skull with vampire teeth, which, okay, I guess. Another fashion girl, flat lay, the various things. I think those are tarot cards. Is it tarot or tarot? Because I think I've heard both. There's probably, I don't know if there's a right way or wrong way to say it. I won't make that judgment. Um, double box scene here of the bedroom, which is a four poster bed that is very extravagant with the couch in front of it. Wow. Love that whole vibe right there. And then we have some like martinis, I think. Yum. And then um, I got these extra boxes with the double box scene of the um, foggy graveyard which that's another one that like I can think of a lot of fun foil overlays for. I love this cat at the piano because I love cats and I love the piano. So that is my vibe right there. And then we have an alternate girl for that fashion box. Um, wow, this is quite dark. I'm so used to like the, the lighter pastel vibes, but like this is kind of cool to have such a dark kit because the foil is going to really pop over this one. So we have glitter headers. We have our um, clothing flat lay for that. Oh, I love these heels with the bat wings. That is so cool. Um, and then we have deco flags. Um, yeah, I was going to say I'm worried about these guys being writable, which they're not really writable. So this might be a week where I use only scripts and I foil all of them. Yeah, these little things are not so much writable. Only the red one. But I like the patterns. Um, and then we have a tall box girl who is definitely a vampire herself. Love the white hair. And then this box which says if you've got it, haunt it. It's like a little coffin shaped letter board. Oh, I love this fireplace scene right here. Oh, I feel like that would be really good with like a little quote right there. I don't know what quote I would put. Probably something dumb from Twilight. Um, which all of those quotes are hilarious. Um, I love that for the bottom washi. I love these two. Like the graveyard and then um, that like wallpaper design that's really cool so that is called fangs and then the other halloween kit that i got was seance which is darcy art i'm pretty sure i don't really know exactly why i got this kit i don't know it's not even like my color scheme either and it's hilarious because like right now um while i'm filming this i'm like taking a break from watching a plan with me where elisa uses this art one of my fellow YouTubers and Instagrammers, um, she uses like a kit with this art in her plan with me. So it's just really funny that I'm hauling this like right in the middle of that. But yeah, I guess I'm going to at some point use this presumably, even though I have like more kits than will, than will last me the rest of my life at this point. Anyway, so yeah, I guess this is like I don't know. It's like a vaguely seancey, but like not super duper seancey. So like I think I could get away with using it as just like a generic Halloween kit, even though, yeah, this is like way too pink and like lime green for like my Halloween standards, but I don't know. I, I guess I got it. So here we are. <laughs> Fashion girl. We have our little Ouija board. We have some movies, which I always love when movies are represented. So we have It Follows, which I have not seen. Halloween 2, maybe, which I probably did see. Um, the newer version. Blair Witch 2. I was not a fan of the Blair Witch 1, so I really hate, like, that found footage style. So, I don't think I'll be, uh, going further into that series. Oh my gosh, is that Midsummer? I think that is Midsummer. Midsummer is, like, one of my favorite movies of all time. I actually watched that fairly recently, so I'm super psyched to see that because that is, like, kind of like a, a deep cut like spooky film like I, I feel like nobody mentions it honestly it is a Florence Florence Pugh film which most people know her from the Marvel franchise now as Yelena but um, I actually didn't even realize that she had played the main character of Midsummer until like way after I watched Midsummer for the first time um but yeah that's pretty cool she's just a pretty good actor it's a very spooky film it's not like Eh, it's like psychological horror. Um, it's like a suicide cult kind of situation. I don't know. I loved it. And then we have House on Haunted Hill, which I'm sure I've heard of, have not watched. Um, so yeah, that's super fun to see all those represented. We've got a 
little ghost blanket, and then we've got a book called Summon the Spirits. I think those are supposed to be chips, maybe, and bread. Cookies, maybe? I don't know. Something. And I'm not sure who that is supposed to be. Oh, and then we have a little jack-o'-lantern over here. A lot of candles going on as well. I love this double box scene with, like, the graveyard outside. Um, and then I picked up the tall box sheet as well, so I could use one of these girls. So we have our glitter headers, we have our extra box, which is the outside of the house, the decorated porch and all that. Got some deco, solid color, thankfully most of these are writable, I think I could still write on that. Um, and then patterns, another tall box. Um, with that guy who's, I think, like, kind of vaguely modeled, modeled after the guy from Stranger Things, which, again, I still have not seen the latest season of. And then we have a cauldron, and then another house interior with the little couch in the corner. A lot of washi and everything else. So, yeah, I'll just probably bring this in as an anytime kit at some point in my life. So, we got four kits to go. Three of them are fall. So, let's just dive into it. They are all Coffee Doodles Co., because, like I said, I will pick up every single one that she does. I don't think these are all from this year. I think this one in particular that I'm starting with may be from last year. I'm not 100% sure. But I did check my collection to see if I already had these because I'm notorious for, like, rebuying things by accident. Um, so I'm pretty sure I don't already have this. I love, like, the saturation turned up on this. Like, these colors are amazing. Um, they're so bright. So, like, these are, like, the perfect three traditional fall colors, in my opinion. So I'm glad that they're so prevalent in this kit. Um, so yeah, this is just, like, generic fall. It's called Hello Fall. We got a double box scene of the outside of the house with the little chairs on the patio. Got some cupcakes going on here. Our fashion girl. Um, that's kind of a cool look with a jean jacket over the turtleneck sweater. Um, and then we have a backpack and drink, another drink, and that is, I think, sweaters or blankets. Got our coffee situation, and then more coffee and pastries going on here. While we're here, let's go into the extra boxes, because there are a ton. As always, we have our extra double box scene, which is the little couch interior, another fashion girl. Um, clothing flat lay, even more fashion. There's, like, so much fashion, I can't even choose. We got another girl and then a tall box with like the little bubble ponytail and then the bed and then why did I do this to myself? I literally picked up this big box. So we're going to nix that but then I don't get that double box scene if I want to use the house. I might just have to use that house by itself. Well, that's okay because I still have that double box scene so at least have a double box scene but... I don't think I've ever broken one before. It's so weird. I don't know. I must have really wanted that big box. I usually like to pick them up when I can. Um, so we have our glitter headers. We have that same exact clothing flat lay, which I'm glad it's not an extra one because, good lord, I already have way too many full boxes going on here that I'm going to have to use. Got our deco. Got our little things, which I think that's still a little bit writable. It's almost toe in the line, but it's there. We have our flat lay of various activities going on, and then we have a tall box of the fireplace, which that's actually a really cool view of that. However, it is in the doll box scene over there, so I'm going to nix that. And then this one is literally just um, like a close-up of this part, so I don't think I'll need to use that one either. I love these two patterns for the bottom washi. So that's good that it's not like way too excessive it's just a little bit excessive with how many boxes i'm gonna be needing to use so that is hello fall and then next we have fall core so this one is a little bit different of a color scheme because she did bring in these pinks and blues even though it's still supposed to be fall and pink and blue are not colors that i think of for fall it's like a teal blue like, but it's a little bit more green than that. Like, maybe winter green? I don't know. I have a winter green foil, so maybe that would go better. Definitely not teal. But yeah, it's like a little fall cottage situation, which, love it. Always. We got our cottage in the background and our fashion girl. 
another fashion and then i love this tea pot and clock situation which i love tea and clocks i don't know there's like certain things that i love for like no good reason and tea is one of them because like i barely drink tea and i have a ton of it but like tea is like a vibe that i that i'm obsessed with probably because of alice in wonderland which is my favorite thing also clocks are a thing that i like I believe clocks are another Alice in Wonderland type thing. Um, I think they are like an important factor somewhere in one of the books and or movies. I think they're um, a thing in the sequel movie by Tim Burton. Anyways, enough of that. Um, all these really cute mushroom earrings. Oh my god, I love that. Got some like drawings going on. This mushroom cake, which I love mushrooms also as a thing, an Alice in Wonderland thing. I don't know if I like them on the cake not convinced by that. Oh, books are another thing, but I actually genuinely love books, so that's not like a no good reason thing. But the books and tea is also a vibe. I love this level box scene so, so much, more than I care to admit. I love it. I love these like watercolory um, trees. It's like a specific art style that I like don't remember what it's called. It's not pointillism. It's not impressionism. Is it impressionism? No. Maybe. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> Um, and then I did pick up these extra boxes as well. We have our alternate girl here, which normally I love the white hair look, but I feel like in this particular kit, it looks out of place. So I'm probably going to use that girl instead. And that girl's closer to my skin tone hair color. So I'll keep her, but I love this extra double box scene of the house interior. I, you know, she does like the same thing a million times, but I love how she switches up the angle to like give you a different view. So here we have like the living room in the background and then like the little breakfast, um, table, in the foreground and that's really cool i haven't really seen that angle before so we have our glitter headers oh i love more mushroom motifs with the needle point i actually do cross stitching allegedly i i used to in college and i keep saying i'm gonna get back to it so that's a fun nod to that deco solid color again that red is towing the line but i think it's still writable patterned Ugh, again these trees with this like tall box Ugh, i love that it's so artsy it's like actual art but if i had to choose i would probably just stick with the double box scene we have a, a fashion clothing pot lay there and then we have the bed with the doors in front of it very cool and then bottom washi as well i'm surprised i didn't pick up a big box with this but i think it was probably like the cottage or something and i just needed the trees as well so i decided to stick with the double box scene that's my thinking for what I did there. And then for the last of the fall kits, we have fall festival, which is definitely fall festival themed. See, Elaine can turn out so many different fall kits and they all technically have different themes. So I'm allowed to buy all of them. So thank you, Elaine, for that. Um, I do love the idea of like a fall festival or fair, which I keep saying every year I need to go to one, but I don't make it enough of a point to actually get us there. Well, we went to a pumpkin patch the other day that like had other activities and like a train ride as well and like food trucks. So I don't know, maybe I could use this for that. Although I, I have like actual pumpkin patch kits, so yeah, it's a never ending struggle. Anyway, we have our fashion goal here with the coffee. We have some like cookies there. I love these candy apples. I want to eat one of those so bad. There's a little corn maze. There was like a corn path in the one that we went to, which was like not even a maze. It was just like... There's like a patch of corn and you walk this way and you walk that way and then you come out the other side. So yeah, it was a path. It was not a maze. It was very disappointing. <laughs> I'd st it's always my dream to do a corn maze. One of these years, I'll do it. A little pumpkin tic-tac-toe, which is so cute. Clothing flat lay, the little wax scene with the food truck, which we did go to the food truck and I had apple. It's not apple strudel. What is it? It's not falafel. Funnel cake. I will literally go through every single other option in the book before I land on the name Funnel Cake every single time. I've talked about this in videos before. <laughs> I cannot keep the word Funnel Cake in my memory. Can't. Never ever. So yes, I ordered Funnel Cake. It was very good. Um, we have the little sign there with everything. And then extra boxes while we're here. Of course, we have our double box scene here with this like pumpkin structure, which seems to be very popular in art now. Because I know there was a Glam Planner kit that had that as well. So there's another double box scene. That would be good for a quote, actually, in this, this space. 
I love this girl's hair because that's kind of similar to my hair. Then we have another fashion girl as well. So, so much fashion. Like, how can I choose? So I also got this box as well with the tall box, fashion girl, and then alternate version of that girl. And then a corn toss, which looks like cornhole, basically. So I got that going on. And then we have glitter headers. Another skin tone of that girl, which, again, this one's closer, so I'll use the other one. Deco solid patterned <laughs> I think her saturation is a little bit higher on that one so she must have like done this after she got new ink or something I have noticed that it's really funny um and then we got oh yes I'm gonna be using that tall box of the sign for sure and then we have another version of that girl and then the entrance to the corn maze which I love that that would be another great quilt box overlay opportunity and then we have houndstooth um bottom washi which <laughs> she like shrunk that pattern and it's bigger there and it's shrunk there and that is the funniest thing actually because that's houndstooth i do have houndstooth underlays in my shop so that might be a houndstooth underlay moment so that is fall festival and then lastly we have oh christmas tree which is more elaine art obviously obviously um I think I may have gotten it from the shop because of the color scheme again. Somebody always inevitably uses the color scheme that I like most of the time. Um, so thankfully I get these traditional colors. So yeah, this is one of Elaine's Christmas sets. I forget if she's done more than one, maybe. But yeah, needed this. So again, we have our double box scene of the house interior with all the like Christmas decorations about to be put up. We got stockings, our two fashion girls holding various things. We've got some signage here. Um, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal sweater. Stack of presents for extra boxes. Again, the saturation difference. Um, we get our little hot cocoa sign um, in the shop and then more decorations on the double box scene of the Christmas tree farm, which is super cute. Love that. Ooh, different font here. That looks like a reformat. Um, glitter headers. Oh, extra box here of the Christmas cookies, which again, just love them. Want to eat all of them all at once. So and stop me. Oh yeah, this is like a big reformat. Got all our flags facing sideways now. <laughs> I think I think this is more deco than before and different style of weekend banner, which I like the old one better. Um, even though I'm not like 100% a fan of either, I'll survive. Um, and then we have our solid color pattern. Thankfully, these pages are still the same. Um, this page is also the same with the extra labels. I love the extra little things because I need all of them. We have a clothing flat lay. We have a tall box, which is just the same as this side of the double box scene. Um, and then we have the car outside in the snow, which I love that background. But this is something I'll probably cover up with a quote. And then our two patterns for the bottom washi. And I love these traditional colors, although this green is like a little bit more winter green than green. But I like it. I think it works. And the blue as well really works with that. So that is it for um, Coffee Doodles Co. and Apple Blossom Prints. So yeah, that is going to be it for this haul. So much to show you guys. And there will be definitely a lot more coming, what with... Black Friday coming up, and also I have a Simply Gilded order coming up, and um, yeah, there may be a couple more things that I literally just forgot I ordered, I don't know, but we will see about that, there's going to be a lot to come, there will be more Plan With Me's coming out, new release videos, hopefully, as I design more, I'm about to design the Christmas collection, which I'm trying to get up before Black Friday, which this video will probably go up after that point, or around that point, I have no idea when you'll see this, but a lot of stuff going on. Um, and also, whenever this goes up, the advent will still be available. This advent in my shop is amazing. You do not want to miss it. You get, like, over $200 worth of stickers for, like, 80 bucks plus, you know, whatever shipping is, which does vary based on which option you choose and where you live um, because it is a very heavy package. There's, there's a lot of stuff cramped into it, a lot of brand new stuff that may or may not come to the shop later. No guarantees on anything except for one thing, which will be released with the Christmas collection for Black Friday. Um, 
it is an amazing deal like i'm really excited about the designs in it i think you guys are gonna love them i cannot wait to see your reactions there's like a lot of really new stuff in there that i'm gonna try to do more with um in the future of the shop so yeah if you if you love my stickers and you want to pick up some at christmas and anytime new designs from me you got to pick up the advent um, you can choose either the 12 day envelope option so you can do like a 12 days of christmas kind of situation starting on i think what is it the 13th of december um up until christmas day or you can just get them all in one envelope and either save it for christmas as a present to yourself or just open it all at once immediately so whichever um and the prices do vary because of packaging costs for all the envelopes so very exciting stuff i urge you to go check it out because i'm really excited i put in a lot of work and it is an amazing advent so yeah there's like four full kits two of them are brand new um like foil bundles rather um a lot of bottom washi a lot of underlays and some other various bits and bobs so very exciting and very versatile stuff so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you want to like comment subscribe and share that'll be wonderful and i will see you in my next video ciao ciao